Hello, welcome to Coding with Indy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this mesmerizing generative art animation using Flutter Canvas. This is a beginner friendly animation and it's quick, easy and fun. When was the last time you had all three? The inspiration for this animation came from a post on Twitter some time ago of a photo of a book or a design which looked like this. Apparently it is a logo of Ontario Educational Communications Authority. That's a mouthful. And I found the design on this website. I decided to do this video because some of you asked for beginner friendly material on graphics programming and animation. This is a perfect example of how simple and elegant animation can be. If you look at the image for a bit, you can see how it is composed. When you break it down to the elements, it looks very easy. For example, the main component of this graphic is that there is a circle center aligned and then inside that an oval. So it's a matter of drawing a filled circle and then smaller filled ellipse but with background color. Something like this. Then we keep reducing the size of the circle and ellipse while we draw more of the same pattern several times. We can do this in a loop. Then each time we go in, the angle of the ellipse is slightly rotated. So let's take a look at how we could create this. Create a Flutter project using Flutter Create Mesmerize minus E. That would create a Flutter project with minimal boilerplate code like this. Then we create a widget called Mesmerize to contain the animation. Mesmerize widget is a stateful widget because we would need to keep a state for animations. We return a custom paint object from this widget. As usual, we would create a painter class like this. Now let's draw the background as a rectangle. On this, we will create a function to draw the circle ellipse combo. The copilot generates annoyingly wrong code, but let's ignore it. So here in the draw circle function, we draw a filled circle. To draw an ellipse, we use canvas draw oval. Draw oval function has two parameters, the rect and paint. The rect object is used to tell graphic system where and what size the oval should be. The rect height should be close to the diameter of the circle, but the width is narrower than that. So let's fiddle with the ratio uh, to find something that looks right. Here, k is the diameter of the circle. Now we will draw more circle ellipse combos inside the previous ones. For that, we can use a loop. And we will call the loop variable angle and you'll see why in a bit. We iterate from zero to a max angle with a step. Since we are passing in the radius r, we can reduce it each time by say 80% like this. That would give us these concentric circle ellipses. But they don't have the desired style yet. We want to rotate the ellipse each time. In Flutter Canvas, draw oval only draws axis aligned ellipses, which means the ellipse is always upright compared to the X and Y axis. Because of that, we want to rotate the canvas before drawing our ellipse each time. To do that, we need to do two things. First, we need to save the coordinate system state and then translate the origin to the center of the ellipse. Rotate the canvas and draw the ellipse. Restore the canvas coordinate system state. So here I'm setting the origin to the center of the canvas, but since our ellipse has an offset for its center, 
it is shifted and drawn off screen now. To see this, um, let's change the paint object to stroke. There it is. In order to move it to the right place, we should pass in zero as the center of the oval rectangle. Now we have the ovals at the right place. This is all good and well, but we didn't do the rotation yet. To perform rotation after translate with an angle called angle, now you know why the loop variable was called that. Uh, do some minor plumbing to get rid of the errors and we have this. Now we want to animate this. Uh, for that, we just adjust the starting position by a little amount each time. We will use a timer for that. We should create a timer in the init state function as such. We will have 25 millisecond duration, so we will get a smooth animation. And in init state, we will update a state variable called theta. And then pass in theta to the painter object. Since the timer calls the set state, the build function is called and the painter redraws everything with new values. In painter, we send theta all the way down to the canvas rotate in draw circle function. We can adjust the speed of rotation by increasing our theta increment. Marvelous. That's pretty much it. But we can mess around with some of these parameters and get different styles of this. For example, we can incrementally make the max angle bigger, giving it a starting effect, like the rings turning on. So let's do that. We have to move it to the widget and pass it back in. And then we use a counter variable to change the max angle at different steps. Please ignore the terrible code suggestions made by Copilot. There it is, looks cool. You can also experiment with the step angle to see what it can give you. Alright folks, that's it for this video. Hope you found it interesting and learned something. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for more like this. And if you have questions or anything that is unclear, let me know in the comments. Tune in next time. Bye for now.